And we're also getting our first look at pictures of James DiMaggio's vehicle, which was found hidden in thick brush. 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen is live at Sheriff's Headquarters in Kearney Mesa with the efforts DiMaggio went to to hide his car. Jen? Preston, as you know, those pictures are unbelievable. You can really tell that this took a lot of work. It was calculated. It was thought out. Jim DiMaggio wanted to hide that car. These are newly released pictures into 10 News showing that blue Nissan Versa hidden by heavy brush, bark, and foliage. You can see a lot of effort went into hiding the car in Idaho. The same car noted in the Amber Alert that went out across the nation. From afar, you can see how well it was camouflaged into the wooded area. Can you easily see it here? It's actually just behind this large tree at the center of your screen. Here it is again from a different angle, close up and hidden under that thick brush. Sources tell 10 News that kidnapping suspect James DiMaggio was creating a similar fortress around the blue tent he was camping in near Moorhead Lake, 70 miles north of Boise, when he was shot and killed by an FBI agent Saturday. The same tent where 16-year-old Hannah Anderson was also being held in Idaho while with DiMaggio. The 16-year-old was airlifted out of that remote area after DiMaggio was shot. We're told she's still at an Idaho hospital under evaluation. Investigators are still staying tight-lipped about how the raid unfolded, but 10 News got this text Saturday from a U.S. Marshal based out of San Diego. Me and two other U.S. Marshals flying in a U.S. Marshal plane located the campsite early this morning and then coordinated the insertion team's epic case. The Nissan Versa hidden in the brush is now in possession of San Diego Sheriff's investigators. Now, I just contacted Jan Caldwell with the Sheriff's Department here. In the past 15 minutes, she indicated to me it is still unclear when and if that car will be returning here to San Diego, San Diego County. Of course, we will let you know when that happens. We're live here in Kearney Mesa. Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.